Hi everyone, this is Erica Burnett again, back with another um, technique for you guys. I just wanted to share this card making session with you. It's going to involve blending as I normally do because I absolutely, absolutely love blending. Um, and this is a very simple, simple, simple technique. So I'm going to get started. The base here of this piece of cardstock, this whisper white piece of cardstock, is four, I'm sorry, three and seven eighths by four and an eighth. Okay, so I'm going to start with that. And I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper. And it could be, a, it doesn't matter what kind. So this is just a piece of printer paper that I tore in half actually just now because I forgot to cut a piece. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that to the side for a moment and I'm going to tape this down so it doesn't move because I'm going to do multiple things with it. So just a small piece of tape. And believe it or not, I'm going underneath because of the other layering that I'll be doing. So I'm going to place that piece underneath it first. Because this type of cardstock is fairly, it's not really thin, but it's fairly thin. So when you put things on it, you have to be careful, especially what you're using. You have to be careful about the type of tape that you use. I'm just being careful. I don't know whether this will rip or not. I don't think so because this is posted tape. But you can never be too careful with that. So I put a couple of pieces, one on each side underneath. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to put a piece over top of that layer piece just to keep it still. Just to keep it in place. And again, this is, be, this is for other layering technique that I'm going to do besides the first blending technique. So just to place that down so it doesn't move. It's kind of stable. So now I'm going to start with a color called Soft Suede. It's sort of like in the brown family. And I'm going to grab my blending brush. And here is the ink pad here. And I'm just going to place that right in front of me. And I'm going to take this piece of ripped printer paper and try to center it as best as possible. It's okay, it's a little off. That's fine. And I'm just going to hold that in place with my hand. And I'm going to get some ink off my ink pad. And I'm just going to start off of the paper itself, not to leave like a circular um, spot or any type of spots on it, but just to gradually run it across to make it more streamlined and more neat. So I'm just going to start off the paper a little bit and I'm just going to drag it across a few strokes. That's it. So now I'm going to take and turn this paper just a little, just a little bit on an angle. And I'm going to do the same thing again. And by the way, this is my first time doing this. It's just something I ran across when I was creating another car and I said well let me try this out and see how it works the first time I came up with this was an accident so I said let me on purpose let me see if I can do something with this so again start off the off the cardstock and then just brush and we want to do this again. And like I said, there's no wrong or right way to do this. It's however you want to do it. There's no right or wrong way. Like I said, I came across this by accident. So I'm starting off the paper again. And let me move this up a little bit further. A little bit further. And I'm starting off the paper. And again. A few strokes back and forth and then get some more ink on there and again same thing start off the paper and brush it over lightly okay we're gonna get some more 
and I'm going to change the color soon not just yet and we're going to do some more and like I said there's no wrong or right way to do this it will come out different I'm sure for everyone start off okay some more ink I'm going to move the position of this and I'm going to start again start off the paper bring it all the way over to the end okay and I'm going to do one more of the same color okay just one more like I said start off and just bring it straight across okay so now, I don't want you to see what the pattern looks like. You might get an idea, but not yet. I don't want to show you yet. So now, I'm going to do some Bermuda Bay by stamping up. It's like a teal color. So let me change brushes here. So I don't want to get any brown on this tempting, you know, I'm sorry, this Bermuda Bay. And so now I'm going to move this paper again. I'm going to angle it again. Stop right here. And I'm going to start off again, like I said, and run it right across from right. I'm going from right to left, but I'm right-handed. So. Okay. Get some more ink up on there. And I'm going to change the position of the paper and I'm just going clockwise. And I'm going to start off the paper and run it across again. Okay. Ink it up and position it again. And it's awkward going from right to left, so now I'm going to do left to right. Just because of the position of the paper. Okay. We're going to ink it up again. And position it again. Okay. And I'm starting left to right. Whoops. Okay. So I got a little ink that spilled over when I made that little mistake there to paint the paper wrinkled up. So now I'm just going to change my because I don't want to lift it up and I don't want you to see it before the design is finished. So I'm just going to do long strokes instead of rubbing it back and forth. Just do long strokes from left to right. It's not going to make a difference with the design. The design will stay the same. Okay. Ink it up again. And go all the way around. there and just left to right long stroke okay ink it up we're almost done move it over and again long strokes if you wish it to be darker you can always put more pressure on it you want it to be lighter you know just lighten up on your um your stroke 
but either way with this it'll all it'll still come out looking nice regardless of what color you use regardless of what your strokes are it will always come out nice this this design when you're creating there is no wrong or right way to do something it's never a right or wrong is how you want it to look what you're happy with okay I hope you can see that and we're coming close to an end here almost I'm just taking long strokes Ooh. okay I'm done this is the last stroke from top to bottom last one all right so here comes the big unveiling that's what it looks like that's what that technique does and if you feel as though you want you have some white spaces there that you want to fill in feel free because I have some white spaces to your right but you know what? I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm not going to bother it at all. And I was going to do sort of a layering technique on top of that. But I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to leave it the way it is. And I'll work that out with something else. I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to leave it exactly the way it is. But let, let, let's see if this would do anything yeah I don't know if I want to mess that up or not hmm mm hmm hmm I think if it's a you know what I'm going to try something I was going to use a yellow color but for some reason, I can't see this yellow color working well with how that looks right now. So what I'm going to do is, and everything I do is always the first, um, it's, it's always a uh, spare of the moment. I don't plan a design pretty much. I might plan the technique, but I really don't know how it's going to turn out. It's, it's how, you know, in the beginning I could think about it and it always changes during the course of me making a card. So like this changed, I was going to use one color and I was looking for this to turn out differently, believe it or not. I had it pictured differently, but now it actually looks better than um, what I thought it was going to look like. It actually does. So um, I'm going to try something different with this. Instead of using the color that I was going to use, which was like a yellow color, was a mustard color. I'm going to do a pattern that'll show up a color that will show up just enough not too overpowering um you know but something that'll show up well enough and i'm going to test it first just just to see how well how how it how i think it would look um that's not bad is that too dark let me see something I'm just testing colors. This this goes on with me forever in the day. Okay, I'm going to use this color called Sahara Sand. Um, and like I said, I don't know how it's going to turn out. But when you're creating something, it's art. It does. It really. Does, it's not too much. You really can't mess. You really can't mess up. You. I mean, you really can't. Now, it, it may not turn out the way you want it to turn out. That's a whole nother story. But it's not too much. I mean, not. I don't mean to say it that way. But you really can't. You really can't mess up. Art is art. Art, a lot of times, some of your great pieces, um, some of your great pieces are, like, not done by mistake, but... They weren't intentional, you know, so you have to think about it that way. Because I know some of you create cards and you didn't mean for them to turn out a certain way, but you actually like 
the way it turned out better than you did your original design. So, so I'm going to tape this down so it doesn't move. And I'm going to tape all four corners because I can be a little rough when it comes to doing um, blending with stencils. And this is a stencil I got from Simon Says. And when I post this video on my YouTube channel, I'm going to um, put all in the description underneath the video, I'll put all of the tools that were used. Some of these things I think were discontinued, like maybe the Stampin' Up! inks may be discontinued, but the tools that I'm using are up to date. So this is called Sahara Sand by Stampin' Up! And the stencil I got is from Simon Says. And like I said, all the information will be placed um, below the video. So it's in place. So now I'm just going to take and I'm just going to use the Sahara Sand and go over the design that I did. And I'm just going to do a circular motion and just do a circular motion. And this color is a very, very it's a very it's not very light. But because of the colors I've already used, it's kind of light. So it may not show up like I want it to, but like I said, you, you take a chance. You just take a chance. Everything is not going to be perfect. And I'm just doing a circular motion. And just see what happens. It's all right if it doesn't turn out perfect. Like I said, I didn't know that the design that I did, the first um, blending design that I did, was going to turn out better than what I imagined it to be. So, you know, and art has a way of doing that. And I'm trying, I'm doing my best to take my time today. I was told by one of my lovely crafting friends that, you know, I would slow down a little bit, you know. So, you know, everyone could keep up. Okay, we'll get to see how it turns out very soon. And with this, I have to press down a little harder. It's a little harder, which is fine, because this is a lighter color. I just didn't want the ink for this to take over the design that's beneath it. That's all. I didn't want it to overpower it, so... Okay, it looks like, let's see, I want to make sure I got every spot I needed to get. Okay, it looks like I got every, I touched it, I touched everything. Okay. 
making sure I touch everything. That's the one thing about these very intricate designs. These are stencils. I want to make sure I get every part of it. And like I said, if I don't, it, 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 hey, it wasn't meant to be. Okay. So the big reveal is, 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 let's see what's going to happen here with the big reveal. See how it turns out. not bad that's not bad at all wow yeah like I said it actually came out better than I thought it would all right I don't have a problem with it at all I'm just using this paper towel as not to transfer any ink over to another project is you know I don't want to transfer any ink over to the other part of the card so I'm just doing that to lift it up and I'm going to take the tape off the back and I'm going to place this to the side so it doesn't get any ink on it. Okay, and I'm going to clean this area. I'm going to wipe it down so I can finish the rest of the card because the card base is white. I'm using baby wipes, believe it or not. I always use baby wipes on the surface to get the excess ink and stuff off first because it's quick and easy. And removing dye ink. All right. Let me move these stamp pads out of the way. Okay. And just take a paper towel And see, it didn't get all the ink up. It's just a quick way to get it off the surface really quickly. But now what I'm going to do is, I always spray, believe it or not, I use Windex. And just spray a little bit of Windex in the area. And Windex takes care of it. When I tell you, it gets, it gets everything up. And it dries very quickly. See, it's still with some leftover ink. So, it dries very quickly. All right. That's it. Now I'm going to wipe my hands off to make sure I don't transfer any ink onto my card. I definitely do not want to do that. To mess the card up. Put all that hard work in and then just mess it up. All right. So now I'm going to place that piece of card stock that I painted over onto a layer that's five and a quarter. It's a chocolate brown layer of card stock from Paper Source. And I'm going to layer this on top of that to bring out a little bit of that chocolate that's in it. So I'm going to layer that now. Okay, use my little tape dispenser. And I love this tape dispenser. It's Tombow. Oh, Tombow Dots Adhesive. Absolutely love it. And I normally don't put the adhesive that I use unless it's like glue or something like that on there. But you know what? I'm going to start listing. I'll start listing the even the adhesive and where you can get it. Which is my you can actually get this in a lot of places. Michaels, I think I think Staples has it. You know, I'm not sure. But okay. 
So now I'm going to put that on the cardstock here. Trying to even it out, make sure it's nice and even. Because once you put it down, that's it. And so many times I get this wrong and I don't put it down right. And then I'm trying to kick myself because I didn't do it right. So, so, so I'm trying to save myself from doing that. I'm going to flip it over and just press it down to make sure the design, the card is on there. Okay. There you go. All right. So with the layer there, that's how it looks with the design. But it'll really stand out when I put it on the white. So I'm going to put it on the white now. Making sure no ink on my hands. And I'm using white linen car stock. I love this linen car stock. It's very, very flexible. It works well for cards. So I'm going to put that on there. So let me put the adhesive on the back. I'm just using this white paper not to trim. The ink is dry. It's just me. It's just me. I'm just, I'm just, I have messed up so many times. So it's just me not wanting to mess another one up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just being protective of all fronts, but the ink is dry. It, it is dry. This is just me. So being protective, that's all. All right. So. Okay, and I always put one down the center. All right, so now we're gonna put this on. This came out really pretty. It looks way better than I thought it would, which is it's a good thing. Okay, and this car stock is pre-scored. I scored it myself. I have a score tool that I use to score it. And it stops you from, you know, having like ugly folds when you want to crease the card and all of that stuff. So, all right. There you go. All right. It came out nice. I'm going to fold. Or not. Wait, wait, wait. Can't fold it yet. Can't fold it yet. I almost had, I almost forgot. I have one little piece to put on it, and that piece is here because this is a birthday card for no specific reason. I just felt like making a birthday card since um, I've made thank you cards and cards for every other occasion. I figured I would make a, a thank you card, and I'm going to pop it up using some dimensionals from Stampin' Up. I'm also going to, I'll put that as well. And I, I normally don't, but I, I'll do it. I'll put it in the description as well. So, and just line the bottom. Let's see. So I'm pulling these off. And this is um, just happy birthday. I decided to cut it, not during the video this time, and just have it prepared um, for it. Okay. For the video. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to put this in the center here. Uh, I could put it dead in the center. Uh, do I want to do it dead in the center or do I want to do it here? I want to do it here. I'm going to do it here. 
I'm just feeling right here. This is like I said, this is just me. That's just me. All right. Flip it over, get my bone folder to make sure the crease is nice. And oops. I'm trying to make it straight so you guys can see it. That's what the card looks like. It came out, I think it came out really, 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 really nice. I want to thank you guys for hanging in here with me, for watching my video. And I really hope you enjoyed the design and that you can take something away from this video. I'm sorry, if you have any questions, feel free to drop your comments below the video. And I'll definitely answer them as soon as I can. Take care, be safe, and have a great week. Bye-bye.